Hi everyone, my name is Greg. Welcome to Greg's Kitchen. Now today I'm going to cook up a delicious omelette using mushrooms and some camembert and some other things. But I tell you what, this is going to be tasting so good. I've been making it quite a bit lately and well I just can't get enough. Anyway, let me show you what I'm using. So for this, all I'm using is two eggs. I've got some camembert cheese here. You could also use feta if you really wanted to. Or brie. I've got some garlic. I've got a mushroom here too. And of course I've got some butter. Because everything tastes better with butter. And an optional extra is some spinach. The spinach will add a little bit more flavour, colour and a little bit more healthiness. Anyway, it's really easy to make. Let's start making it. Now there's only a few things that I need to cut up. So I'll just start with a few thin layers of this camembert. Like I said, you can use brie or some feta is also good. The mushroom, I'll just slice into slices. As you do when you're slicing things, they generally do go into slices. And I'll turn them around and go one this way too. Just make them a little bit smaller so they fit much better inside the omelette. They will shrink though. And also we've got the garlic here. Just want to give that a whack. Take this stuff off here. I think it's called the skin. I think. I'll get rid of the dead end as well. And now I just slice it into little bits. You could crush it in a garlic crusher, but why dirty up another piece of things to have to wash up and waste water and detergent and soap? You're just wasting. And I hate to waste, I tell you. I love to save. That's why my cutting board I haven't replaced in 15 years. Even though I need one because it wobbles. But hey, it still works. Alright. Now we just have to start cooking this. So I'll turn my frying pan on. I'll turn it on, uh, well, fairly high. Maybe not all the way to the top. But I'll cut off a nice chunk of butter here. Oh yeah. Go you good thing. And I just like to stick that in the pan. And well, the beauty about doing this is when the butter's melted, you know that it's ready to cook with. How easy is that? And now I'll just scrape my garlic in. Scrape it over the butter. And we'll just let that melt away. And it will also start cooking that garlic. You don't want to cook that garlic for too long because it can burn quite easily. And now it's time to add in the mushrooms. And we're just going to cook these for a few minutes until they get soft and sort of soggy-ish. Just let them cook for a bit in the butter and then come and turn them over and let them cook again and they'll turn out perfect every time. That hasn't taken too long at all and already they're ready to flip. But we'll just let those simmer away and while that's happening I'll just prepare my eggs. Now I just like to use two eggs for this. Any more and it can get a bit too much. I'll give that a whisk. Now you can add milk to it if you want, but if you do, only add a tiny little dash. That should be enough. Don't know why you need to add milk, but you can. Sort of loosens it up a little. And I do like a loose egg. Now, how are these mushrooms doing? Oh, they are looking good. See how they've got nice and soft, changed colour. And they can shrink down quite a lot, can't they? So now, I'll chuck the spinach in there. Just 
cook that for a little while just until it gets nice and wilted and like I said you don't have to add it in but hey sometimes you just need some greens in your life I know I love some green in my life mm. all right so I'll just grab another bowl here and pour the mushrooms out but try and leave the butter in there okay oh what was that oh dear how on earth did that happen okay so now it's time to add in the eggs and we'll just we'll cook these the best that we can you might want to swirl it a little pull the sides away get the juices down on that side give it a bit of cooking and then you know move it a bit away from this side and let it drop down there and that way you'll get rid of all that soggy stuff on top I can eat that soggy stuff but I'm not a big fan and this way it'll just dry out nicely the temperature at the moment is still up in the high-ish range not fully hot but warm very warm indeed I'll do a bit more draining and you can see there it's really coming along nicely hopefully it's not stuck to the frying pan because I hate it when that happens but that's doing the job that it's supposed to this gooey stuff you can move it all into one corner and lift it and pour it in and that should solidify nicely but it'll cook all the way through anyway now let's add the cheese over one half might need to break it and we'll add the mushrooms and spinach with the garlic back in there come on out you come over one half and now try your best to not break this omelette it's a bit hard in this small frying pan we just need to flip this over Let's try and move it back in the middle. And now I'll just turn it off because I don't need any more heat. We'll just leave it for a bit. We just want to try and let that cheese melt, which it looks like it's doing. Just let it sit there for a tick and it'll be ready to serve up. Oh, yeah. Okay, just pour that on the plate, and there you have it. Yummo! Bit of mushroom there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Oh, mate. Oh, that tastes so good. Mmm. Just that hint of garlic in there. Oh, man. That camembert melts so nicely. And, oh, dude. Mmm. Delicious. Now, you can add salt and pepper to taste. Of course, I didn't today because, well, I forgot. <laughs> but it doesn't really need it if you're using salted butter. Who needs to add extra salt? Anyway, if you enjoy this video, remember to show it some thumbing love. 
If you like food, subscribe for more. I do cooking videos and a heap of food reviews as well of all the food all around Australia. It is breakfast time, so I'm gonna finish this off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I cook something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the food